Okay. Good afternoon. We are here today to hold a hearing examining the ongoing GAO audit series of HHS cybersecurity programs. Since the committee submitted its request to GAO in 2013, GAO has performed three audits of major operating divisions within HHS. Today's hearing will provide an opportunity for the subcommittee to learn more about GAO's findings over this series of audits, as well as the steps taken by HHS and its operating divisions to respond to these findings. Given that GAO has completed three of these audits, today's hearing will also provide an opportunity to examine HHS cybersecurity roles and responsibilities. These GAO audits provide a valuable opportunity for HHS and its operating divisions to reflect on its cybersecurity capabilities and improve from one to the next. Today's hearing will allow us to explore whether or not HHS is indeed taking advantage of these opportunities in the way that we would hope and expect that the department has. Given the sensitivity of some of the findings identified by GAO, we have determined that it is appropriate for the bulk of this hearing to take place in a closed session. After opening remarks by Ranking Member DeGette, the subcommittee will vote to enter closed session and then proceed from there. I want to thank our witnesses for appearing today, and I now recognize Ms. DeGette for any public comments before we vote to go into closed session. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you know, this committee has conducted a series of oversight work focused on cybersecurity, such as at the Department of Energy and HHS. GAO is doing critical work in testing the cyber defenses at various HHS agencies, and this report is the latest in that series. To that end, I look forward to examining these issues in more detail in executive session and to hearing what commitments these agencies can make to address the vulnerabilities, and with that, I yield back. Just to get yields back. The chair recognizes himself for a unanimous consent request and to offer a motion. Because of the sensitive nature of this hearing, particularly its implications for national security and after consultations with the minority, I will offer a motion that the subcommittee go into executive session. I yield to the ranking member for any comments on this procedure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As, you, as I stated before, I support, given the sensitive nature of this information, I support your motion. The chair moves that pursuant to clause 2G of rule 11 of the rules of the House, the remainder of this hearing will be conducted in executive session to protect information that might endanger national security. Is there a discussion on the motion? Seeing none, if there is no discussion pursuant to the rule, a recorded vote is ordered. Pursuant to Rule 11 of the U.S. House of Representatives, this will be a roll call vote. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Griffith. Aye. Mr. Griffith votes aye. Mr. Barton. Mr. Burgess. Mrs. Brooks. Aye. Mrs. Brooks votes aye. Mr. Collins. Aye. Mr. Collins votes aye. Mr. Wahlberg. Aye. Mr. Wahlberg votes aye. Mrs. Walters. Aye. Mrs. Walters votes aye. Mr. Costello. Mr. Carter. Aye. Mr. Carter votes aye. Chairman Walden. Ms. Deget. Ms. Deget votes aye. Ms. Schakowsky. Ms. Castor. Ms. Castor votes aye. Mr. Tonko. Aye. Mr. Tonko votes aye. Ms. Clark. Aye. Ms. Clark votes aye. Mr. Ruiz. Aye. Mr. Ruiz votes aye. Mr. Peters. Mr. Pallone. Chairman Harper. Aye. Chairman Harper votes aye. Have all members been recorded? Clerk will report the vote. Mr. Chairman, on that vote, there were 12 ayes and zero nays. The motion passes. The remainder of the hearing will be closed to the public and openly open only to our witnesses, to the members, and to essential staff. We will briefly recess to clear the room. <laughs> 